want us to look in the Bible, the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse number 6. And also the book of Zechariah, chapter number 3, verse 1 up to 10. And I discussed with you about a hunger for righteousness, hunger for righteousness. The need that you have, that you want God to intervene, the problems, the challenges that you think you are facing, the solution is the condition of your heart for God's righteousness. Hallelujah. God's righteousness. In the book of Matthew 5, verse 6, Jesus speaks about a very important things to humans. This was the first time Jesus spoke in public in the book of Matthew where he sat down and taught his disciples about what God wants from them, about what God wants from a human being. Hallelujah. Now, he listed many other things, but the most important part of this words of Jesus, start from verse 3. And I want to focus on verse number 6 today. But he says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for the kingdom of God, for the kingdom of heaven, is theirs. And he said, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Say, fill me, O Lord, with your righteousness. So there's a righteousness of man and the righteousness of God. There's a righteousness according to humankind, but there's a righteousness which is called the righteousness of God. For you to understand that, I think we need to look in the book of Romans, chapter number 3, verse 21 up to 24. You will understand the difference between the righteousness of man and the righteousness of God. So in the book of Zechariah, the righteousness of man gives advantage of Satan to accuse you when you need anything from God. When you come before God in need of anything, the enemy accuses you who would qualify because you are not right with God. This is what makes people choose in search for solutions because they feel condemned and rejected by God because God has a standard that he wants everybody to approach him. Praise the Lord. As humankind, we need God always, but somehow we forget that there's a requirement. There is what? Talk to me, church. There's what? A requirement. There are many promises of God, but there are conditions. The greatest need of mankind is to stand right with God. It's what we call in the Bible right standing before God and with God. Praise the Lord. Now, the challenge about that is that there's no shop. There's no factory where you can go and buy right standing with God. There's no religious activities, efforts that you can put, things that you can do to God for you to be righteous. Because righteousness and unrighteousness is a condition of heart. It's a condition of what? Of the heart. It's what you are in your heart before you do anything before God. Praise the Lord. 
Now, this story is very interesting. I want us to read because she reveals our good team. Every time God wants to intervene in your case, there is an enemy that brings out your record before God, accusing you that you are not worthy. This is what makes you no mutandaza, 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 all who sees, mutandaza, all yeah. Okhlala njalo zilahla upenduke udabukise ukhale and you become hopeless Now this condemnation usatha nayi letter hayo to your conscience Yenza ulahlekela ukukholwa nokwethemba ukuthi ukuthi into oyithandazela wena oyicela uzoyithola Kanti uNkulunkulu ufuna wonke umuntu ozaku uye akholwe ukuthi njani ukhona futhi ungumfuzi Wabobonka bamfunisi sayo. Now, if you have lost faith in God, your coming to ask him anything is a waste of time. Because the amount ukutenga anything from the kingdom of God is faith, not your righteousness that you do. Hallelujah. You get that? Don't miss that. There is a righteousness of God which it's a standard where you must stand to talk with God. And that standard, you cannot get it anywhere. It's in God. It's from God. It's in God. That's where he wants you to approach him standing on. That is a position that God has prepared for everyone who is on earth. If you want anything from me, this is the position you ask me, Umigion. Hallelujah. In King Agelele Vela Funagiona, Uti Absoni sends on a sense of Uzube right. Uzu Tole Amanda Ugbagleso standard to Ding call a mean Dingani. Goku call a mean and Minangiso wins a Ubegleso standard. Now I want to talk about the benefits of righteousness quickly. Benefits of righteousness. The benefits of righteousness, number one, it makes you to stand before God confidently. It has a son de le kunkulungkulung a sibind, a salu and so musala so tona kona, we see how se gang kulungkulu, no gusi sees a gang kulungkulu, sin a sibind, sinani. Because But there's an enemy that is standing beside always to accuse me. How do I silence this person who keeps on bringing out my records, the records of my past, my failures, my limitations, my weaknesses? Every time I'm in need of God, I become more conscious of my inadequate. This is what makes people to run away from God, run away from the Bible, run away from being told what God wants. Because you become naked. You become what? Praise the Lord. Now, the benefits of righteousness, number two, it makes you to have a permanent relationship with God. A permanent what? Say it again. A permanent relationship with God. Righteousness of God or the righteousness from God makes a human being, no matter their weaknesses, their failures, every time they are allowed to come before God because they are coming from the position of perfection, not by their doing, but because someone has done something to qualify them. Praise the Lord. Now, when we look in the book of 2 Corinthians 5, verse 21, it says, Christ Jesus is our righteousness. Christ Jesus is who? I don't hear you. Say, Christ Jesus is my righteousness. Now, he says, blessed is the one who desire, who wish, who yearn, who hunger 
has you wants to be righteous. Because if the condition of the heart, the crying of the heart, is to stand right before God, he says, that is the first thing I will provide. Before I give you anything that I have, I want you to have a right standing with me. That will keep a relationship with me. Amen. Before I give you anything, I want to have a relationship with you. The relationship that I want with you, I am a perfect God. I'm a holy God. So because you cannot perfect yourself, you cannot make yourself holy. I have provided someone on my right hand. On the left hand, someone stands to accuse you. But on the right hand, I have someone who speaks on your behalf. Now, Christ Jesus, which is the righteousness of God, it's a right standing before God. With Christ Jesus, you have a confidence to approach God in times of needs. The benefits of righteousness, it's because of every time you have a need, you already qualify to be given before even you ask. Because all God's blessings are for the righteous. Hallelujah. Are you with me, church? All God's blessings are for the righteous ones. But their righteousness does not come from their effort. Listen very carefully. I'll repeat it again. Don't waste your time to make yourself right before God. God is capable to make you right. Let me repeat again. There is nothing you can do to make yourself right before God. But God has provided everything to make one right before him. In second, let's look again number two, number four, the benefits of righteousness. The benefits of righteousness, one of those benefits is you have provision of strength, forgiveness, Tolerance from God, which means you have a second chance from God. Hallelujah. Because you are what? You are righteous. Because of what? You are what? Which means on the queue, you are the first. Which means everything to do with you. You have a priority to God. Amen. The righteousness then takes you from qualify to come before God, to be attended by God, to be heard by God, to be assisted by God. Because of Christ, who is the righteousness of God, you are now a priority. That is why little pipe unkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulunkulun
Jesus is the righteousness of God. Amen. Is what? And needs of it. Abang then a good priority up and can be first job of first class now fairly corner. We need to look safe for. It got to leg among the shoulder. And as a better night to make the other name go. And was the good treatment then new Iona is sugile when they are by you. Skibelind is a other stallion gulungul song. Tis it all was about corner but it was special. You know why but it was special about going on now, but coquille. If failed by coquille, Christ becomes the value. It pays to really not in the way. Hallelujah. In the state of the Lindian, the Peso. So I'm not fully paralyzing an Agolempi, looking at Christ Jesus. If you want God to pay attention to your cry, Christ Jesus. Gobaliti Bible in the Bayak, Eku, Kaevi Kala, no Gubanisa, Wabanguele, Bak. So I'm not fully pay attention when you groan, you complain. Jump into Christ Jesus. I guess pin the food. Yin la ba ngwa ba be kupu kuba la kupu wa ine no 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 no. Eti gita ban pet. If we are like fine the lag. Umuntu umugelu Jesus Christ pet eti git. Eni nga fine the lag petu nga ba ing. Apa ne ba pet ya mati git o misa miogu lunga wa bez lungis. La ba ba pet eti git no lungis wa. And do tu pet eti lungis so ngomu so ngokolwa. Ane bonga ba lega Jesus. Lend your collar, your guia, and consuel. Not, not your gang That's a very cheap thing because being righteous, you are not made by the church. Being righteous, you are not made by a pastor. Being righteous, you are not made by any ritual that you perform. Being right standing before God is God's doing. And He has already done it in Christ Jesus. So, what you need is Christ Jesus before the church. Being made righteous has nothing to do with reading the Bible. They are Bible scholars, they are professors. who are not right standing before God. Reading the Bible without the Spirit of God will never be transformational. That's why you have people who teach the Bible, but the power of the Word of God does not transform their lives. Because it takes a relationship to be prioritized. It takes you to be known to be prioritized. Now, it's sad because you will always come to seek any, something from God. But the first thing that God wants, do I know you? When the angels of God looks at you, they know the mark. This one has been set apart. This one has been set what? Apart. That's why the Bible says righteousness, adias. It means to be set apart, made unique, made separate. Amen. If you have a right standing with God, you do not need to struggle. You just need to desire that righteousness of God. And when you desire the righteousness of God, things that belong to the righteous comes to you.